Hello, this is Chef and Nick here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. And in front of us is the 1965 Apollo. This is a very unique car and a uh, rare opportunity to buy uh, a one-off car. It is a 65 Apollo. To understand it, you need to understand the uh, Apollo history. And hopefully I don't butcher it if uh, Apollo viewers are watching. Go ahead and uh, comment below and we can always reshoot or uh, delete. But Apollo was a, uh, had a short uh, three year run in the uh, early mid 60s where it's an Italian designed body and then the bodies were shipped over to Oakland and they were mated with uh, American running gear, specifically a Buick engine. The end of the Apollo run was 65. This is a 65, but Apollos are two seaters. And as you can see, this is a two plus two. So the back end of this car is markedly different than a traditional Apollo. So this was the start of a run. This came over from Italy um, and it went into the New York Auto Show, but just briefly intersected as a Griffith. Griffith was another company doing what Apollo did. They thought they'd kind of pick up the standard and run with it. They never did. Um, they've got their own successful history, but that's the only kind of intersection <coughs> of Apollo and Griffiths. So in the New York Auto Show, the production from 65 on, on Apollo, so there's only ever 77 built, uh, was, was halted. And so what you have here is an Apollo 2 plus 2, 1965. So the body is, even though this is a one-off, it is hand-formed steel. It is an all-steel car, not fiberglass. So designed by uh, Pina Prima Stellini, and then it did have a pretty low-powered, I don't even think a standard Buick engine that they put into the other Apollos. But basically, this car, was brought over really just for show, never did run and drive that well. So it was garage um, from the, I think I got in my notes, it's 68 until 71. The current owner, our consigner, bought it in 71 and he's had ownership of this ever since. So some of the pictures of the auto show shows it with the, a solid front bumper. It's now been changed to a more traditional Apollo split bumper and that's front and rear. <coughs> In 84, uh, this car needed restoration and as well as just much needed upgrades. The turning radius was really poor. The engine, uh, the performance was poor. So it received a full bare metal paint job, complete new interior, and received a new engine at the time. So that had a 302, and currently does have a Ford 302 in it, uh, and then a full restoration of the interior. They did, to correct the turning radius issue, they did put in uh, a pretty common swap, which is a Ford Mustang 2 front end in it. So Italian, Italian styling, which does show extremely well from all angles, front, side view, rear view. So very unique car, beautiful. You're not going to find another one, and it is the 2 plus 2. So it's got a clean Idaho title. It is titled as a 1965 Apollo. We've got all the VIN numbers. We've got the correct badging on it. And we'll jump in and take a, a closer look. Beautiful wire wheels. <coughs> nice door cards. The seats are different from any other Apollo. They are Recaro seats, but they're in fantastic shape all the way around. And they are sports seats, so very comfortable to sit in. Classic sport car. Uh, design seat. New carpet, new interior. It's got a Hirsch shifter in it, automatic transmission, split gate shifter, wooden wheel. The dash is uncracked. It's really been driven 
um, lightly over the last, I would even say a couple decades, Nick. <laughs> Time goes by quick. But um, always garage, really good shape. All your greenhouse, all the glass is original. All the bright work is really good. You do see a little bit of paint flaws back here. We'd want to point out some cracking of the lacquer paint. And on either side of the trunk. So if you're shopping long distance, we just want to divulge that. We've got photos of the underside. Uh, the rest of the body uh, is issue free. Wheels, tires, gorgeous. Take a look at that. Driving compartment. So we're going to break this up into two different videos. Uh, if you're watching this and you've got an interest in this car, um, definitely email Nick or I and we'll do an engine start. I'm saying that because we're getting kind of long and I do want to go through the lights, want to take it for a drive. And the keys are over at my desk. <laughs> so pretty classic. There. So Shep and Nick here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. I'm Shep. I can be reached at 208-721-1973. Or you can reach out to Nick at 563-676-8225. Thanks for watching.